So once you and your horse are familiar with the ground poles in the walk and in the posting trot, you can then also use them for sitting trot expansion, so to speak. <laughs> and, you know, as always, just start slow and easy over these poles. Let your horse look down, stretch forward, downward into your contact and see what they're having to manage and navigate here in terms of space and in the width and the height of these poles. And sometimes, you know, the horses get a little bit antsy, like you can see with Cooley right now, but that's no big deal. I actually feel his back swinging quite a bit more than he does on a regular basis with me when I'm at this point of my riding sessions with him. So I take that, but I, I also don't want him to start rushing so much. So I'm going to splice into this pattern a little bit of a volta here to just kind of say to him, hey, look, we're not going to just speed around these poles. <laughs> Come and stay with me mentally and physically. And then I'm using a little bit more of a half halting in my seat with my knee pressure and my lower legs are still engaging him to come and step under. But I also want him to really, you know, stay soft and supple, not just longitudinally, but also laterally through his full frame. Look at that. And that is already a better quality that I find of trot that I'm starting to feel. He's not rushing so much across these poles and he's still active. And as I always say, speed has nothing to do with this. It's the quality of the steps, the softness with which he lets me navigate him through his whole body. I start to feel a much nicer, more even connection. He's starting to listen to my leg a little bit better. Yeah, and he has to go. That's okay. That's allowed. <laughs> All right. We'll do it one more time here. So then I'm going to change directions here. Wait for me. Wait for me. A little bit of excitement is still coming through here, trying to maneuver through the manure here. <laughs> so, good boy. And again, I'm going to do the same thing this way. Little volte or, you know, at the most like a 10 meter circle in between the poles. And, you know, he has to think about what he's doing rather than just fixating on these poles and trying to get faster and faster with me. And this is really working much nicer than just going straight round and round. So <laughs> we will continue just a few more times this way. Again, trying to not make him step into his own manure. <laughs> These things happen, but they don't always have to necessarily just interrupt the whole pattern that we're riding. And I'm just so pleased with him. He's, you know, very content feeling right now. And the trot is regular for the most part and even feeling it's engaged. You know, and for him, for Cooley, who does not have and is not bred for, you know, major dressage um, explorations, you know, his trot is sort of not super expressive. But, you know, it's something that you can always enhance and work on and say to your horse, hey, what? Why don't we lift our legs a little bit higher and step a little bit farther underneath our point of gravity? And look at that. This is really feeling so nice now. And <laughs> good boy. And that's really all I need for him to do in this part of the this part of this exercise pattern. Let him stretch a little bit, long and low, you know, and then that's a very good very good segment. Thank you so much, Kuli. Well done. <laughs> good boy. And thanks for watching and happy riding. And you can always see the arena graphics at the end of the video. And hope this is helpful. <laughs> good boy. So.